Is this the one? Is there something special that says he'll be fast enough that he can get the distance? It's a swagger. When you turn horses out in the paddock, there's 10 in the field. They're the one that chases everybody off and says, let's go, boys, let's go. Let's go get it. They ask the same questions thousands of times. And this is why they toil and sweat, why they hope and pray. This is why every year they come, more than 100,000 strong, to this place. The quest for the most elusive prize in sports begins beneath these famous spires. Everybody's very elegant and beautiful. They put on the grandest of shows. From the rail to the red carpet, all of them wondering, is this my lucky day? This is why they hold their breath at the sound that means it's almost time. Time for the pounding of hearts. And they're off. And who's? It is the first Saturday in May. The Derby is something that every Kentuckian dreams about. The subject is roses, and the question, is this the one, is about to be answered. Keeneland, when it all began back in 1936, wasn't pretty. Panic and America's first Great Depression stalked the land, and the turf that would become Lexington's signature race course took its first steps in much the same way a thoroughbred does. Wobbling through its days as a yearling, yet surviving those first seven tumultuous years with a glimmer of promise. And they're off. None of Keeneland's architects could have known, but they believed that one day, would come to this. An irresistible spring seduction wrapped up in what is, quite simply, one of the prettiest places on the face of the earth. It's Bluegrass Stakes Day. Lexington's annual rite of spring when all of Keeneland is in full blue. Tonight at 6, LAX 18 News on special assignment. America's greatest generation, World War II veterans, now in a race against time. Well, I'm afraid it's the last two rounds. To see the memorial dedicated to their bravery. I think all World War II uh, veterans ought to be able to get up here and see this. Jeff Allen travels with more than 100 vets from the bluegrass. Thank you for your service. On a flight of honor. LEX 18 News on special assignment tonight at 6. Tonight at 7 on LEX 18 News Evening Edition. A remarkable child hoping for a normal life. I don't think at this point right now he really knows that he's different. Zach, a Lexington boy. Oh, that's a pretty color. With a genetic disorder so rare, he's one of only 78 kids in the world who have it. Now, an experimental drug could mean new hope for Zach. He has given us something to fight for. Watch our special report tonight at 7 on LEX 18 News Evening Edition. LEX 18 News, Mystery Monday, Laurel County, 1786. Pioneers massacred by Indians. But legend has it, one man got away and hid a treasure of gold. Is it still there? Watch LEX 18 News, Monday at 6. Thursday at 6, Kentucky's pension crisis. To the tune of, of millions of dollars. Kentucky lawmakers cashing in on big pensions when they leave office. It is an abuse of power. Most folks that I've talked to about this plan do not know it exists. It's a system even they admit is broken. There's some things in there that uh, aren't fair to the state employees. Who's holding them accountable? We are. Adam Weiner investigates Kentucky's pension crisis. Watch LEX 18 News on special assignment Thursday at 6. Tonight at 6, LEX 18 News on special assignment. I thought, I'm never going to make it out of here. Heather, assaulted, then held captive in her home. This man's going to kill me, and I've got nobody to help. Her attacker, sentenced to nine years, but released early as a non-violent offender. I'm tired of being a victim. Lee Searcy has tough questions about Kentucky's revolving door of justice. LEX 18 News on special assignment, tonight at 6. 
Tonight at 7 on LEX 18 News Evening Edition. There have been reports of UFO sightings. January 6, 1976 in Stanford, Kentucky. Scariest, terrified thing I've seen in my life. What happened that night is still the talk of this small town. You think they're telling the truth? And for three women, their lives would be forever changed. That light is supposed to step in it. LEX 18's Nicole Pence investigates the Lincoln County incident tonight at 7. Tonight at 6. One of Kentucky's most notorious unsolved murders. LEX 18 News on special assignment. June 1949. Merle Baldridge. Every boy wanted to date her and every girl wanted to be her. A Floyd County cheerleader. Murdered. A lot of people heard screams in the neighborhood. The scene of that crime. Adam Baker uncovers a cold case so bizarre it still has people asking who killed Merle. LEX 18 News on special assignment tonight at 6. Tonight at 7. I heard something walk. It was taking steps. Kentucky's backwoods. The home of a legend. I want proof. That has its share of believers. I have 11 reports from Anderson County. And skeptics. If there was something out there, we would have seen it by now. LEX 18's Nicole Pence investigates the search for a mysterious creature and new evidence that could make you believe in the bluegrass Bigfoot. Tonight at 7 on LEX 18 News Evening Edition. LEX 18 News Mystery Monday. Edgar Casey. A Kentuckian who became the most documented psychic of the 20th century. His special gift was hard to accept. His readings unlocked secrets from the past and predicted our future. He has certainly predicted political events that came to be. Adam Weiner investigates why a new generation is rediscovering Kentucky's sleeping prophet. LEX 18 News Mystery Monday at 6. LEX 18 News Mystery Monday. Where are you, sweet spirit? A world famous ghost chaser. Only now, the ghost is chasing her. Right there was standing. Find out why she's haunted by Henry. Halloween Monday at 6.